Hello and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Patia, Patia Channel's very own breakfast show. I'm your host, Nick Pendrell, and joining me on the sofa is once again Dave Durham. Good morning, Nick. How are you doing today? Great. It's, uh, it's nice outside. Made it here on time, as per usual. You're excellent. You've run like Swiss railways. <laughs> <laughs> and nice to see my old friend there as well, Nick. And we have with us uh, an old friend, Joe Cox, Defence International Security Services. Good morning. Good How morning. is everybody? Well, I think we're all doing pretty well. Good. And yourself, Dave? Nice to see you, Joe. Yeah. Nice to see you. Very good. So you've got makeup on again? <laughs> no, my makeup's not on. Today. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. So tell us a little bit about Defence International Security Services. Um, okay, then. Well, it's a security company. Mm -hmm. um, we originally came over here to do dog security. Uh, patrol dogs, mm -hmm. drug dogs, sniffer dogs. Right. And then from that, it led to uniform security officers, mm -hmm. uh, business continuity plans, risk assessments, mm -hmm. cameras, alarms. So now we do the whole spectrum. Right. So I'm, I'm very pleased with, with how we've grown. So what, what is your background? I, I imagine I imagine I don't really want to pick a fight with you. No, I'm, I'm from <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> no, my, uh, my background's um, ex ex-military right and and civil police and if you told me any more than that you'd have to kill me probably no but you can buy all the beers all night <laughs> and he does self-destruct in 60 seconds <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no i got a serious note joe i mean no, the, the the business side of it and, uh, and what you do the security side of it you know you have a, a lot of responsibility don't you yeah yeah especially in in the situation where we are today mm. um so you know there is a lot of responsibility going with with the job mm -hmm. sure. uh, you can't just go there and and say oh you need this you need this and you need this and not ha have any knowledge on what you're sure. actually spo supposed to be advising yeah. clients i mean you i know, know that your i know that your background is substantial and i know that you know going from being a, a dog trainer handler you know and and the business as built and it's built quite quite fast really uh, over the years and I mean you know your knowledge of uh, product knowledge is very good I know that from past experience with Joe that you know he, he, he gives a full service and of course uh, your camera systems and that you know they're, they're all coming to fruition now aren't they? Yeah I mean technology is advanced mm -hmm. in leaps and bounds um, you know so you can't just rely on, on the human being anymore yeah you have to rely on technology as well mm. um, a because as we know, working in Thailand, mm -hmm. uh, the shortage of the right personnel. So therefore, you use another tool in the box. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, everybody's needs are different. Yeah. So you cater for for. And, that what, about, and what about needs. The, the sort of the, the recruiting side, Joe? I mean, you know, because you're in the security game, you yeah. know, so to speak. At the end of the day, you can't just take your average. If you expect the, the, you know, can't you take the uh, the average Joe off the street kind no, of thing. Correct. You know, correct. Forget the pun. What, if well you know worded I mean. there, Dave. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I was trying to think of another name. An average Joe. <laughs> You're an extraordinary Joe. We're talking about an average I Joe. I think of another name. But you know what I mean. You know, you can't take the average person off the street. On a serious note, you can't, Joe, can you? Not everybody is 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 good enough to be a security officer. Mm. Yeah, it's a career. It's not, you know. The way I look at it, I've done it all my working life, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it is a career. Mm -hmm. So you can't just have somebody that thinks that they're just going to go and get the check at the end of the month. With that check comes the responsibility. Yeah. So employing the right personnel mm -hmm. is one of the, the hardest issues I have. Mm -hmm. um, because although, for example, out of 100 people, mm -hmm. you're probably going to employ if you're lucky, mm -hmm. 20. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 20 good ones. Yeah. 20 good ones, mm -hmm. you know? And out of that 20 good ones, one of them will be superb. Now, you, 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 sorry, you, you patrol from the small premises to the large premises, don't you? I yeah. mean, I yeah. mean what, else, what else covers your, your patrolling? Uh, My remit, is that yeah. the word you're looking for? Yes, it is, Joe, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> 
carry on taking the coffee. Ah, yes. <laughs> but I mean, you know, you, you don't just do your, your, no, your average it, sort of... Um, no, we're, your... we're very... We are, and I say we, because it's a, a, a joint team mm -hmm. effort, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I have embassies, mm -hmm. uh, FCO buildings, um, the Commonwealth War Graves Commission right. use us. So it's not just a condominium or a building mm -hmm. site. Yeah. We got from five-star hotels mm -hmm. all the way through to somebody's house where, right. we, where we do the alarm response. Mm -hmm. You know, so I've got a, a huge spectrum. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and every one of them in, individual needs are just as important as the embassy or a five-star hotel. Right. You know, because your house is just as important to me mm -hmm. as, as dates. Right. You know, although he's got less stuff in it, <laughs> keep that on the quiet. <laughs> so if um, somebody wanted a job with you, uh, would they have had to have some sort of experience? Are they ex-police? Are they ex-military? Or could, could somebody just decide, I want to be in the security business having no prior experience at all? If you come with no prior experience, in one sense, it's better for me. Okay, blank sheet of paper. Yeah, I can do my own canvas. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm not correcting mm -hmm. bad habits. Military is always best mm -hmm. because it's already inst installed in them. Mm. In yeah, that's it's the right yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. 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 Discipline, yeah. Yeah. So I'd, I'd prefer taking on ex-military. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if somebody's got no no experience. It means I can, I've got that clean canvas to right. work with. Mm. So, you know, it's horses for courses. Yeah. What is the training process? Obviously, you, you said you like a blank sheet of paper is best to go for, but which means you have to train them yourself. So Correct. how long does that last? Because of my background in the UK, what I've tried to do mm. is instill <clears throat> that training and philosophy, mm -hmm. yeah, to tie nationals. Right. Okay. So what, how we train our staff is they all have to work in the classroom, mm -hmm. okay, and learn what the job actually entails. Yeah. Yeah. So part of the things that we go through is how do you arrest people? Mm -hmm. um, how do you do a a, uh, a report? Right. You know, a basic report, mm -hmm. but through that report, the police or the insurance, mm -hmm. They'll all refer to that. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's an important evidence, mm -hmm. you know. Um, if it goes to court, that could be used. Right. So it's it's like report writing. Mm -hmm. uh, how to actually be a security officer. Yeah. You know, your patrol duties, how to speak to, to guests. Mm -hmm. You know, we're working in a hotel. Sure. You know, they need to converse yeah. and, mm -hmm. and speak to people, acknowledge people. Mm -hmm. So you can't have somebody there with their body language in a negative manner. Sure. So you, you have to stand or sit mm -hmm. or speak. Yeah. In a in a polite but controlling manner. Sure. You know, if you if you've got somebody being a bit aggressive mm -hmm. because something's happened to them, then the staff need to realise that that no, anger. Need to handle it. Yeah. yeah, that mm -hmm. anger's not not related directly at them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they need to control yeah. the situation. You know, so they're in the classroom for about two weeks. Right. Okay, and at the end of the classroom stuff, what they do is they have a questionnaire to fill in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and going on the questionnaire, I will then know what mm -hmm. they've actually taken so on is board. Is it down to you to assess them then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's two of us that assess them. <clears throat> right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so they've got to meet a score mark and they've got to have knowledge of what their role is, mm -hmm. you know. Going from, go, sorry, going from that side of it though, if, you, if you've got somebody who's important coming to the country and you're in charge of the security for that person. Correct. Who handpicks them? You? Right, prime example, mm -hmm. okay. Man United were over here last year, mm -hmm. okay. I won all the security for it, okay. Mm -hmm. So it meant meeting them airside, mm -hmm. from the plane, all the way to throughout wherever we went, mm -hmm. went to Burma, Bangkok, Pattaya, uh, and then handed them back right. onto the plane, mm -hmm. shook their hand and said goodbye. Mm -hmm. So logistically, that was a nightmare because <laughs> this was in planning for five months in planning. Yeah. yeah? So I had to liaise with 
um, to get air passes. Mm -hmm. Have to liaise with the airliners. Yeah. Yeah, and then ha ha van ha all the suitcases mm -hmm. and so on and the hotels. So there's a lot of homework goes imagine, into it, yes. you know. So the team that I took um, were used to high profile work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they're all in suits. So it's nice and relaxed. Right. In the evening, we're all in suits. Mm -hmm. In the daytime, black safari, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So the players felt comfortable. Yeah. But we were on hand if we needed to be, mm -hmm. you know. And, and it was a great, great event, mm -hmm. you know. The lads were fantastic. My team were, were very good at what they did. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, a lot of, a lot going back to your original question, mm. sorry, David, mm. was, yes, I have to handpick and I have to do the majority of the homework. Right. You know, because uh, anything tie related, mm -hmm. my staff will do. Mm. Yeah. Um, anything else, I'll do. And what about the training aspect of it? I mean, like, do you do put, you know, like the tie, uh, 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 the type people that work for you and the other guys that work for you, do you put them in situations, in, in the training situation where, you know, they have to, you know, it's a mock up of somebody coming or, yeah. you know, do you I do mean, mock ups in that it's, way? It's not just sitting there and, and looking at a screen mm -hmm. as, as a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. 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 You can't do that. No. Okay. No, no. You need hands on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we do play role. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're working in a nightclub, you need to know how to s s help somebody out yeah. that's had too much to drink. Mm -hmm. You know, not throw them out. No. You help them out. Yes. If there's a fight, you need to know how to control the yeah. situation. Yeah. If people are armed, mm -hmm. you know, we know in Thailand, unfortunately, weapons are quite easy to get hold of over mm -hmm. here. But you need to you need to know all that. Yeah, you know, sure. it's not a case of just turn up at an office, do an application form. Okay, then there's your uniform. Mm -hmm. You're down the road tonight. Mm. Yeah. Be there by five o'clock. Yeah. You know, you, you can't no, I mean, do that. You know, we're you all said and done, Nick. I mean, you know, we can all have a good time and a great time in Patia. But you know, there is guys like Joe or there, sure. and there's a serious side to Joe, and he's mm -hmm. a serious, it's a serious business at the end of the day. You know, sometimes somebody's life could depend on him. Yeah. You know, so you know. No, no. He, 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 I mean, it's a valid point. I mean, people don't realise that security personnel in Thailand, whether it's my company or, or any other company, yeah, sure. they they are your first point of call when there's a problem. Right. It's not like you've got a national police service over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, everywhere's got security. Yeah. So whether they're good or bad, they're your first point of call, Brilliant. you know? Yeah. Absolutely. So um, how would people contact you if they wanted uh, to use your services, basically? What's the best um, way to get hold of you? We're very active on Facebook. Right. Uh, you can also visit our website, which is www.thailand-security.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, that will be coming up on the screen right now. Okay, um, or you can obviously give us a call. You know, yep. got an office number. Mm -hmm. It's manned 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you can get hold of me in, in many ways. I'm, I'm very active and, and no, I think it's, it's, I think it's great. I think be. it's great for you to come on Joe and tell us the other side yeah. of what a lot of people don't see Nick. Absolutely. We only see the uh, the other end. So thank Absolutely. you very much for coming and giving us a very uh, informative uh, chat and uh, stay tuned everybody because we'll be coming back very very shortly with the best of the web. Thanks. See you soon. Joe. Thanks Joe. Thank you. Cheers Dave. Cheers Nick.